guys and welcome to my 70s hair tutorial um you're only gonna need a few things it's pretty simple just grab a hair tie and whatever curler you're gonna be using it doesn't typically matter what kind of curler you use as long as you curl your hair in the right direction um so if you're using one of these barrel curlers to curl your hair away from your face. I think on your right side, you go clockwise, and on your left side, you go counterclockwise. I'm not totally sure, but if you look it up, it's probably a quick little fact check. Um, I'm gonna be using one of these curlers just because it makes my life so much easier. You can also use a straightener if you want. Again, just make sure you curl away from your face. So that's pretty much the only thing you'll be needing. Okay, so I'm pretty much gonna get right into this because I hate tutorials that drag on and on and on. So while your curler is heating up, you're gonna wanna put up most of your hair. Um, it's good to do this in small sections, especially if you have layers, to really get that full curly look. So I'm just gonna put up probably like three quarters of my hair. So I'm only left with these two very small pieces. I'm just gonna brush them out real quick. And so for my curler, it's very simple. There's like settings on the side um, that you can choose to curl it to the right or to the left. To get the look I want, I'm gonna curl the right side to the right and the left side to the left because that's gonna go away from our face and at the end it'll create like these big ringlets like Farrah Fawcett almost. I'm gonna start with this side. We have a very thin chunk right here. Um, it's better to do it in thin pieces. If you have bleached or like very thin hair, you might wanna use a heat protectant spray, but that's totally optional. Um, my curler does all the work for me, so I pretty much just put the hair in. Um, and for this tutorial, basically, we're going to be curling as much hair as we can until we reach these top layers. And there's our first little curl. So from there, we're going to go to this side. Make sure you curl away from your face. So I'm going to change the setting on this guy. This side is a little thicker, so I'm going to divide it into two chunks. Um, here we go. Okay, so now that we have this bottom section done, I'm going to take more hair from the top and just put a little more up. Again, working in pretty small sections. have layered hair you're gonna want to leave these smaller pieces untouched until the end because we are going to do something different to them um. Just grab more hair from the top. You guys know the drill by now. And my hair is very layered, so the further I go up, the smaller chunks of hair I'm gonna have. getting pretty close to being done. I don't have much more hair to put up. <laughs> um, 
because my top layers are very short. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna keep curling the rest of the longer layers. Because of my layered hair, I tend to stay away from curling these shorty, shorter pieces just because like they can get really kinky and then it makes my head look like a mushroom. But um, if you don't have layers and you wanna curl like your whole head, go ahead. Um, that would look better. <laughs> about as much as I'm gonna do on this side until we get to the bangs so after I finish this side I will show you what we're gonna do to these top layers okay so the bottom of my hair is done see how it's kind of already forming those ringlets we don't want to touch it we're just gonna let it set and let it cool while we do these top pieces. So for this part, um, I'm going to use a straightener and you'll see why. If you wanna use something else and you can figure out how to do it, then go ahead. But I use a straightener because it's just the easiest technique. Okay, so I'm gonna show you with a longer piece first just because it'll be easier to see. But you're gonna grab little chunks i'm trying to make it easier for you guys to see and you're gonna pull your straightener back like this against your scalp and then you're gonna bring it towards your face at an angle like this and down and that is going to be very confusing at first but um once you do it a couple times you'll get a hang of it so i'm gonna plug my straightener in so we can get right into this so you're just going to take a piece like this, pull it back against your scalp, towards your face, and to the side. It's harder <laughs> with these little pieces, um, but as we go on, I think it'll be easier to understand. So see how it curls like that? So it's all going to come together and be our face framing layers. And then again, just... Pull it back against the scalp and then at an angle, bring it back towards your face. Keep twisting it. There we go. See? And like I said, as you keep going, it will get easier, I promise. It did take me a long time to get this. Um, it's definitely easier if you don't have bangs and it looks better if you don't have bangs. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm doing it anyway. So back towards the scalp, at an angle, back towards your face, and down like that. And it looks crazy at first. And if you look like a cartoon character, you're doing it right. Um, we're just gonna keep going until we run out of hair. For these longer pieces, it's definitely easier because you have more hair to work with. So you go back towards your scalp and then you're gonna bring it down at an angle towards the side so it's hard because I, I'm not working with a mirror right now um, but I am trying my best so here for this piece back towards your scalp and then back towards your face at an angle and down. So we are done with that side. Don't mess with it. Don't run your fingers through it or anything. It should look like this, I promise you. Um, we wanna let it cool and set and then we will brush it all out in the end. I'm just gonna keep going on this side and it's pretty much the same. We're just going this direction. Um, so you pull it back towards your scalp, towards your face, and down to the side. See how it forms that little curl? That's what we want. <laughs> and like I said, you should look pretty silly before you brush it out. 
okay. Back towards the scalp. And then at an angle, going down. And it comes back up like that, which is perfect. Sorry, I'm mouth breathing. <laughs> it's just, you know, with the masks we've been wearing, it's so much easier to like mouth breathe. And so I've gotten in the habit of mouth breathing again. Not very attractive. All right, I think this is about our last piece. I just bring it back towards the scalp. And there we go. Yeah, it, it should look like this. So you want to let it cool and set for about 10 minutes. Just leave it alone. Um, if you want to do your makeup in that time, uh, that's a great idea. And then in about 10 minutes, I'll come back here and we will sort this out. <laughs> Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, um, and now I'm just going to brush through my hair with my fingers and loosen those curls. If you want to, like, flip your hair over, you can do that too. Whew. Okay, so now you can go in with a brush. I'm just gonna use this little comb. So we have that part now, and then these. This is the finished look. It's all brushed out. Um, you can do a lot of different things to style it. You can do like little pigtails, and then you have these perfect little ringlets. Um, but more if you want to stick with the 70s look, um, I would just keep it down. Try to not use a lot of hairspray because you want that loose, feathery look. Um, it's not perfect. <laughs> I don't have a mirror to use right now. It's just literally looking in the camera because this is the best spot for lighting and my mirror is over there and it's dark over there um i'm not a beauty blogger i'm not a youtuber this is my first video so i'm sorry if it's not great but i tried um thank you for requesting this video i had a lot of fun making it so if you liked this one and you want the 70s makeup tutorial next. I'd be happy to do that. Just let me know um, If you want to follow me on Instagram, I will put that in the description and That's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day